Welcome back. You know, we often hear that if something comes easily, it probably isn't worth much. So it follows then that something difficult to do is worth quite a bit. Eric Olson has an example from out in 21 country. So there's no real one way to describe it other than, you know, you just have to come look at it. Each year for the last 44 years, America's finest printmakers have sent their best work to Fort Wayne for ArtLink Gallery's annual print show. 500 printmakers applied for spots this year. Only 61 were chosen. Wisconsin artist Ted Lepley memorialized a night out with his friends in this etching called appropriately My Night Out. Chicago artist Carlos Barbarino reminds us of the contribution undocumented immigrant farm workers make to this country. Our government labeled them essential workers during the COVID pandemic. Artists often make political statements with their work. It's part of their job. But there's also just the sheer beauty of these pieces. This is called In the Valley by California artist Nanette Newberry. This image of a senior citizen reading a newspaper is called Old School. It's by Indiana artist Jody Bruns. What viewers don't realize is just how challenging this art form is. These images are etched with acid or hand-carved into wood, linoleum, metal, and stone. Yes, stone. Ink is applied and the image printed, usually on paper. I would say printmaking is a little bit of a lesser-known medium um, in comparison to things such as painting, drawing, and photography. Like Everything you see in a print was hand-carved, generally, or hand-etched. Indiana artist Nicole Woltz created this piece by printing each flower individually, cutting them out and pinning them to the wall. This impressive screen print by Ohio artist Bethany Buchanan is made up of 500 wood blocks with ladybugs printed on them, interspersed with miniature timesheets. Insects work long, hard hours, she reminds us. Art helps humans see things differently, see the world more clearly. We take so much for granted in life. We can be grateful to the men and women who do this work. A reminder that while some of us sleepwalk through life, there are always others observing the world very carefully. This is Eric Olson reporting.